We'll guide you through how to play Neoforge mods in Minecraft. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Perhaps you're browsing at mods or you found a mod that you want, but it's for Neoforge and you want to go and play it. We'll guide you through how this can be done. So let's go and quit Minecraft. Here's a mod I was looking at on Curse Forge, which is a place you can get different mods from, called Mobs of Mythology. If I go and click Files, I can go and see that it's for Neoforge. So what we can do is we can go and download the mod. I'll go and hover over it, make sure we know the mod load is for Neoforge and note down the game version. Press the three dots to the right and press download and it will shortly start. We've now got the mod. Now what we need to do is get Neoforge. What we then need to do is go and type in Neoforge like so. Come to the site neoforge.net and then what we can do is go and get the installer. It's going to give you the most up-to-date one here, but it's likely you need a different one depending upon your mod. So click for other versions and then click, click here. What you can then do is go to the top right and choose the version. So make sure you know the version. As I said to note it down, mine was for 1.21.1. We've got that selected and I'll press the download button in the top right and we've downloaded it. Now what we can do is come out of the browser. Before we start the install process, a big shout out to Apex Hosting for sponsoring the video. They're my go-to Minecraft server host with so many great features. And at the moment, you can get 30% off your first invoice. I'll go and put a link down below in the pinned comment and the description so you can go and check them out. If we scroll down though, we can go and see the servers are 24-7 with 24-7 live chat. So you can get help anytime you need it instant setup when you get your server, one click install mod packs and so much more. To continue, come and open up your file explorer and come to your downloads. And what we need to do is go and find Neoforge. Double click on it and the installer should go and run and open. If it doesn't, maybe nothing happens or something else opens, then what we need to do is go and open up a web browser and we need to get something called Java. Type in Java, you can go straight to java.com and what you can do is press download Java for desktops and press the download button. Download it and install it like any other application and return to Neoforge. Right click on it, hover over open with and click choose another app. Select Java and select always. If it still doesn't work, you may need to do something called a jar fix, which links jar and jar files together. We've got a video on how you can do that, so you can check that out. Select install client once it's open and press proceed. And the process will then go and run through and you can wait. Now we can go and open up the Minecraft launcher. In the launcher, you need to go to the top and click installations. Now you need to go and scroll down and go and find Neoforge, here it is. Hover over it and press on the file or folder icon to the right. It should then go and open up. And what we need to do is go and scroll down and go and find the mod folder. If you don't have it by the way, then what you can do is right click and create one. Now what we need to do is go and drag in the mod. So in this case, we've got mods of mythology. I'll drag and drop it in like so, there it is. Then we can go and hover over it and press play. We need to understand that this is a modified version of Minecraft. Upon launching it, I've had this pop up here. Don't worry, what we can do is go and install these. The first one we need is called Azure Lib. I'll go and type it in like so. I'll go and click on it and what we need to do is click files. Make sure we go and get it for the same version as the mods for. In this case, it's 1.21.1 and it's for Neoforge. Press the three dots and press download file. I'll keep repeating this for smart brain lib and architecture. Here you can see the mod I've gone and installed and we're now playing with.